Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so, um, last time I sat down to record one of these, um, I forgot that I needed to do my March Roundup, um, so the one that I've actually recorded is now going to be next week's, and I literally only realised it when I came to editing it today, so I'm literally going to be recording this now, and then editing this, and then... <laughs> And then getting this one uploaded to release on Friday, and then the other one uploaded to release on the following Friday. Um, so I'm still on track, but yeah, it was a little bit annoying when I was like, oh, oh, I should have done a monthly roundup. I think the reason I kind of forgot was because the last two vlogs had been sort of like talking about my two weeks off and stuff like that. I feel as though I've kind of done the monthly roundup and then I was like oh no technically I haven't really done the monthly roundup yet so I should do it properly um so obviously the biggest thing that happened during March um or the biggest yeah, yeah the biggest thing that happened during March is that I had two weeks off I don't usually take two weeks off in a row um I used to take off like nine days um at a time on the previous way my company used to do the holiday system um but because they've altered how they do it slightly I'm now sort of like just taking off a week at a time um so that it doesn't throw things out too much um like, like the old way it used to do it where it would like take the time into account and put on an appropriate number of days but now it's it like treats the two weeks as two separate weeks and it just doesn't end a bit of a confusing way i mean that's also probably down uh down to another change so it, it probably had started doing it a little bit like that before because it used to be that our weeks worked from or our pay weeks worked from um midnight on saturday to midnight on saturday so like the sunday would technically be part of another cycle therefore part of another week um and they've altered it so it's now it's midnight on Sunday to midnight on Sunday. Um, so it, it, it makes a little bit more sense, but like the way the holiday sort of has altered um, and when the way, like the way the holidays altered and the way the working week um, or the pay periods have altered has resulted in a situation where it now makes more sense to me to like do Monday to Sunday weeks rather than doing like the Saturday and Sunday before and then having to, to, to the week after the Sunday. Um, as a sort of like a nine day off, um, so I haven't actually taken off two weeks uh, together ever. Um, so this is the first time I like had like two weeks off together. So obviously that's like the biggest thing that's happened this month is that I had half of the month off this holiday, which was very nice. Um, and obviously I've talked a little bit about the things that I've done in those couple of weeks, which was like seeing the family during the first week and getting to spend time with my little niece. Who's a proper little girl now, and obviously getting like new tattoo done, which as you can see is, I mean, it's still not like fully healed yet in the sense of like I'm gonna keep um, treating it like it's not fully healed until like, I've had it for like a month, um, just because it is, uh, just because I'm working in a hot environment more than anything else. I'm, I'm working in an environment where I've, it's not been like knocked, knocked, but. It's been knocked a few times, so it stings um, quite often, stinging a little bit by the time I finish work. And it's not like there's not really that much I can do about it because it's not, it's healed enough where it's not going to like damage it necessarily, but just to sort of err on the side of caution, um, I'm going to do like the full month of making sure I moisturize it and stuff. Whereas I think with the other ones, I think I only did it to the point where it stopped like looking really dry and flaky. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to give this one a little bit extra, um, but it is it is mostly healed at this point, but you can still sort of like see little little scabby areas <laughs> when you like twist it right in the in the right kind of light. Um, so yeah, that was like the first week was like really good. And then obviously the second week was the holiday away with a cute friend, which I talked about last time. So I'm not going to spend any time really going over that because I've already given like my thoughts about that. Um, but obviously there were a couple of weeks that I was actually in work before my two weeks off. Um, most of that was just me being in pain because of my jaw. Um, and yeah, it's, 
yeah it's, it's just kind of been like that really sort of, sort of for this month where like you know half a month was me being off work doing like lots of really fun things not really want to go back to work because whoever wants to really go back to work even if you don't necessarily hate your job um and then the prior half of that was me really needing to have time off because like i was in a lot of pain like certainly towards those last few days and certainly during that last week where as i mentioned before i wasn't feeling 100% well because I had a little bit of cold and it was a cold because I did test myself for covid so I know it was not the covid um but yeah that like my, my jaw was quite bad um at the beginning of that first week I had off as well so yeah it's, it's not just me sort of like you know, exaggerating things and I, I can't wait until like my referral comes through at this point um because my pain is my pain my yeah technically my pain um, but my jaw is already aggravated again, and I've only done a week back at work, and it was aggravated for the second shift. Um, but I talk about that a little bit more in <laughs> in the vlog that I've already filmed. So again, I'm not going to go into too much detail with that. But um, yeah, all in all, it's been a fairly good month. Um, I always... I always have a bit of a soft spot for March, even if it's not necessarily been the kind of March that I would like it to be, because March is the month where my birthday is, and let's face it, who doesn't like the, mer the month where their birthday is? Um, I mean, yeah, I know there are a few people who don't, but like generally speaking, most people appreciate the month that they were born, um, and I'm definitely one of those people that appreciate the month that I was born, so it's definitely been a really nice month it's been really nice having those two weeks off um although i did feel like i needed another week off afterwards just to rest from doing stuff because usually when i have a week off from work i don't do anything um i actually rest <laughs> but funnily enough um whereas this time because there was so much stuff that i wanted to do um it kind of came at the expense of me getting the rest that I'm used to getting from my time off um so although I'm rested in the sense of like mentally and emotionally I've not really had the level of physical rest that I would normally get and a part of me is wondering if that might have attributed to my jaw sort of playing up so soon again after going back into work but I'm also suspecting that might be related to noise related to heat related to the fact that I yell in work um like I have noticed that I, <laughs> I have noticed people who keep asking me to repeat what I'm saying. So I think because I've been used to sort of like talking at like a normal volume uh, for two weeks, not being in work, going back into work, which is a very noisy environment. Um, I'm not being as loud as I was. Um, and I think part of that's probably because that was me resting my jaw by not being as loud and going back to having to shout and having to be loud and you know it does move your jaw and it does put a lot more strain on the muscles um when you are trying to project a bit a, a bit more so i think it's a combination of all those things but like as you can see like i had a really good time and then i went back to work and i was in pain within two days so <laughs> yeah it's great it's great being me it's it's so much fun um so for that reason i feel like i i needed another week off just to not talk um just to sort of like be on my own like be in my flat just not do anything um i mean obviously i'd have probably had to do a little bit of talking here and there but to primarily just be silent and actually rest my jaw because I did not really get the opportunity to do that because there were so many other things that I needed, like I wanted to be doing and that required communication. Um, so yeah, it, it, it definitely makes me feel like I need to, to sort of book a week off where I'm not having the obligation or not having anything else planned um, so that I can just be silent and actually like rest my jaw. But at the same time, I'm also like, well, I'm on the, the waiting list for the jaw specialist, and it said that it does work a little bit to my benefit for it to be this kind of situation. It's not fun, it's not at all pleasant to, you know, be in pain like this all the time, but at the same time, it means there is an issue there, and um, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what they'll sort of suggest at this point. I definitely think. 
the, there might be a little bit of uh, temperature sensitivity there, there might be a little bit of sound sensitivity there. Um, as I said, it, it's like I, I'm now at that sort of stage where because I've, I've had those two weeks off and I've had those two weeks away and then I've gone straight back into work and it's like aggravated very quickly. There is definitely something about my working environment that is aggravating it and I can't ignore that anymore. <laughs> So, it, yeah, it, it's very much a case of, yes, I did not rest as much as I could have over the two weeks I had off, but at the same time, I did the things that I wanted to be doing on my two weeks off, so I'm not going to say that I regretted doing the stuff that I did on my two weeks off. I regret that I didn't have more time to myself um, in order to just, like, be, to be, like, quiet um, and to rest um, properly. But at the same time, like, I wouldn't change how I did those two weeks because in terms of, like, mental and emotional well-being, and they, they were really good for, from that point of view. But from a, like, physical, mostly dual, like, the, the rest of me was fine because, like, yeah, <laughs> all the walking I did in that second week was not um, very restful. <laughs> But at the same time, it still probably was less active than I would be on my average day in work. So it was just like all compacted together in one go. That's the only difference. Um, and it was more enjoyable um, unless, you know, people being shouty around you. So, um, yeah, the, the only thing that really could have done with some extra time is probably my jaw. I think the rest of me has come through it like reasonably intact. But because the jaw issue is like even now, it's like I really want to wrap this up because I can't keep talking. <laughs> but I can't like finish it here because I need to finish my thought. Um, is is yeah, it, it's one of those things where because it's gone back to being so bad again, I'm just there going. I really wish I'd had a couple of extra days at least to just at, at the tail end of it to just be silent um, and to, to give my, my jaw the a actual rest it needed um, for a couple of days just so that I would go back into work and it wouldn't aggravate so quickly but it probably would have anyway because as I said at this point I suspect um, it's a combination of things which is aggravating it also been work but now that it has been aggravated again it has really been aggravated again so yeah that's fun i just hope the appointment with the specialist comes sooner rather than later and i know this is kind of like a downer roundup to my march which has been for the most part a fairly positive month for me but like my body is stupid and annoying and i hate it um because it just does stuff to it like this to me all the time and it's like it's one of those things where you can be like really positive and really optimistic about things and then at the same time be like yeah but like it still hurts it still gets to you it's still like it and, and again it would have been different if i'd gone through if if if, if say the niggling only really started yesterday which was my fourth shift I think I would have been less down on the fact that it was playing up again because I'd been like okay I made it through a week it's starting to play off but it's not too bad so basically how it was um well anyway, I wouldn't even say how it was the Tuesday morning because actually the Tuesday morning it did sort of go step up quite quickly but if it was just like niggling if it had just been like niggling um, yesterday whilst I was in work and sort of like towards the end of my shift I'd have been fine with that I'd have been okay I'd have been like okay would have, it would have been nice for it to have been last a little bit a little bit longer but it's not coming back really aggressively it's actually quite fine but it was the fact that it came back and it was so aggressive from the second shift and the morning of the second shift so literally just getting through one shift um, where it wasn't really playing up for, for it to basically go back to that again that I think is why I'm like, yes, all that positive stuff happened and I had those two nice weeks off and I don't regret how I handled those two weeks off. I would not change how I handled those two weeks off, but I would have given myself more time off just for my jaw. Um, 
or I would have like maybe switched out one of the like not gone to see my family on one of those days like after I got the tattoo done um, I did go up and go and meet up with my family on the mall so I could spend a little bit more time with with people and see some members of my family that I don't see very often if I'd known that the pain would return that quickly going back to work I might have gone you know what I'll meet up with people again on Saturday I'll, I'll take these two days off just as rest days um but you know at, at the same time like I'm not going to regret the choices that I've made I've made those choices I, I enjoyed the time that I spent it's just it's really depressing for that to to be dampened by the fact that my dual pain just is unrelenting and it's just very unrelenting and as I said on the one hand it's very depressing it's very demoralizing but on the other hand it does mean that when I go to the jaw specialist I've got a lot of things to go hey yeah this, this is not right this is not normal this is what's going been going on this is what's been happening like I literally had two weeks off work and got back to work and literally from the second shift the morning of the second shift it was right all the way back up there again it like it goes a long way to me kind of going like I'm, I'm doing everything I can but it's still not enough there is something going on you need to investigate this and yeah then I'll probably investigate it and there'll be nothing because like that's just how annoying my body really really is sometimes um but yeah as I said I'm, I'm I apologize that my round of the march got a bit kind of depressing <laughs> but I think that kind of like sums up how I sort of feel about the month now I don't regret any of the choices I made I really enjoyed the two weeks that I had off I just wish that like my jaw was less annoying and painful and, and whatever else ever else um anyway I should wrap this one up here because I feel like I am rambling and ranting and like going around in circles uh, plus I need to edit this one and upload this one so <laughs> um all right um i hope you've enjoyed this one i hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is i'm going to talk about next time and i will see you next time see ya if you've enjoyed this video consider checking out some of my others and if you like what you see consider liking and subscribing thanks for watching see ya